Hey guys, let me know what you think by liking and commenting, and it really helps me and this channel out when you subscribe, so please click that button. Thanks a bunch! Alright everyone, today's episode is brought to you by Super Smooth Hobby Lubricants. Super Smooth Hobby Lubricants are 100% synthetic, and they come in medium oil versions, light oil, and PTFE or Teflon grease in this handy tube. These are very recent and modern formulations. The company that actually manufactures the oil and grease for Super Smooth is a very, very well known company, and Super Smooth worked with their chemists to make sure that these would fulfill the needs of modern hobbyists. These formulas are specifically designed not to gum up, and they're designed also not to attract any kind of grease or dirt or dust. So remember Super Smooth. It's slicker than smooth. All right, everybody. Sorry I've been on a bit of a break. Uh, I caught COVID, and then my uh, tournament schedule got a little bit busy, so I just decided to take a little bit of a summer break. But I'm back with you, and I'm looking forward to working on these projects and showing you what I do. Now, if you remember from uh, this steam engine filled um, bag, grab bag that I had a little while ago, I had this Mantua, oh, it's under Mantua, or did Tyco put these out? The way this Mantua Bicentennial locomotive, it's really neat, but the thing just didn't work at all, just, it just didn't want to work, so. What I am going to do to begin with is I'm going to go ahead and try to oil everything and we'll see how that goes first. Okay, so let's sort of do this the, let's say the hard way per se, but the way that'll be more conducive to me figuring out what's going on here. So it's bringing in power from the conductor's side, or the fireman's side, I guess, from the tender. That goes up there. And the power to the other side is coming off the frame. Is that right? It's actually moving pretty freely now. Well, let's just try that then. Okay, so here if you look is absolutely chunked up it's horrible so I'm sure that isn't helping at all I mean it's really bad it makes sense just to remove those This has seen some better days. All right, you know what? I'm gonna actually have to clean this hold up. Okay, so get some 91% isopropyl alcohol. And let's see if I can just clean this commutator off. Swamping this commute, look at that. Yikes. Better.
How about that? So I just had a filthy commutator and it's still not great. I wonder if I can clean it up with a bit more of a wire brush. All right, well, let's put this back together here. Looks like we got it running pretty well and probably just a little bit more running time will help sort of break this back in. So let's, let's see how that goes. Let's take a moment to go ahead and clean these rear wheels. Um, that's always a help, especially with these brass ones. Um, I, it'll make a difference, I think, and it'll help a lot with continuity. And I also note that this uh, rear truck here had some corrosion on it, so it probably wasn't connecting very well. And it was really tight thanks to that corrosion. So I went ahead and oiled it and cleaned that up a little bit, and I think that'll help also. All right, so it looks like we brought this thing back from the dead for the most part. It just wasn't running, it was seizing, wasn't doing anything. Um, and I, I think we've got it now. All right, there you have it. I think this is gonna be a fun little locomotive to play with. I've got the passenger cars for it somewhere, so I'll eventually find those. But I hope you enjoyed this. As always, happy model railroading, take care.